Hi guys, so building a PC and you don't know where any of these things are supposed to plug in on a motherboard? Well this is the video for you. Hi guys and welcome back. Um, this is going to be a really basic introductory video so feel free to skip past this if you've already built a PC. Um, but I've been asked by a few people um, who are mainly coming across from consoles and they're trying to get into PC gaming about um, the basic mechanics of building, so like where do all these cables plug in, etc. So, to answer it, I've got this motherboard and I've got a pile of cables and I'm just going to show you your way around it and with this bit of knowledge you should be able to get around any motherboard. Okay guys, so let's start by going around the basics of the motherboard. So I've got a few other things laid out here. But here's your motherboard and they can be any size, this just happens to be a very small one. So let's go round it. So first of all, CPU socket, you don't need to worry about that for this video. Memory sockets, you don't need to worry about that. 24 pin power socket, you do need to worry about. That is also a 4 pin power socket for the CPU. They come in 4 pin <clears throat> and 8 pin variants. And don't worry about that just now. These are SATA data connectors that will go to things like hard drives, etc. And that is a PCIe or PCI Express slot for a graphics card. And that's really all you need to know to begin with. So, first of all, let's go through um, the main kind of connector. So, this is a 24 pin extension. Um, but when you look at your power supply, that's what you'll get for the main power connector. And you can see they're keyed. And it's got a latch and generally there is a, a latch and the, the socket is keyed as well. So when you come to plug that in, it's literally a case of lining it up, pushing it down and that's that got power then. Um, and it is literally that simple guys. So we'll just remove that for now if I can. Oh, they do get quite tight. There we go. Let's get that out of the way. The next thing you're going to want to um, attach and I don't have one here, but they look a little bit like um, the end of this. This is actually for a graphics card, but um, they look a little bit like this. And normally there would be eight pins, so there'd be one, two, three, four, and it would be split in two. And that's for this eight pin or four pin power connector for your CPU. So again, you would do the same thing with the 24 pin connector you just plug it in as it's keyed and then that's power good to go um, for the old uh, for the main board from the 24 pin connect connector and the CPU from the 4 pin or 8 pin connector depending on what kind of um, <clears throat> pardon me depending on what kind of motherboard you're running so next let's have a look at fans so you're going to have lots of fans in your case like this you need to know where to plug them in uh, fan headers all look the same. There's only a few on this board. I'm just wondering if there's one. You guys can see that. I'll just move that. There's a fan header there. They're keyed. Um, so there's two little slots there. And so it can only go in like that. So once the plastic rail there is lined up with the slots here on the actual connector, it's just a simple case of sliding it down assuming none of these pins are bent and that's it and most fans will be three pins don't worry about that they'll plug in absolutely fine the fourth pin is for what we call pwm or pulse wave modulated fans and some fans support it some fans don't but it doesn't matter when you plug it in your motherboard will recognize the fan and power it no problem let's remove that now this is where it gets fun. So let's talk about data storage because I don't have a graphics card to plug in, but essentially you would line it up, push it down, and then graphics cards come with um, power connectors of their own. Like I said, this is a six pin power connector for a graphics card. Again, they're keyed. So you would just look for which one you need, whether it's six pin or in the case of this one, it's actually um, got eight pin and six pin and that's how they would come. So if it was six pin, you would use that. If it was eight pin, you would just push this one beside it and plug it in. Or it might be a six pin and an eight pin or two eight pins. It just depends on what connector you're using for your graphics cards, guys. 
Anyway, back to data. So this is a data cable. So this is a, a SATA cable. It happens to be SATA 3 um, or 6 gigabit per second. Now, these are keyed. They have an L shape. The um, power connectors for SATA are also keyed with an L shape. I don't have a spare hard drive on hand, guys, but believe you me, it's very obvious to see on the back of the hard drive where these plug in. But on the motherboard, again, depending on what motherboard you're using in the vendor, you might have to plug in a certain port first for booting, the first initial boot, but generally you can just pick one, line up the keying, hear it click, that's it. Then you would plug the other end into the device, so into the hard drive. Now, for power, this is a SATA um, power cable harness. Now you can see they're keyed as well. They've got the same L shape, except it's the reverse of the data cable. And the power cable is also about twice the size. So you can see you cannot get these the wrong way around on a hard drive, guys. And because they're keyed, they'll only go in one way. So don't be scared of plugging them in. And so guys, that's that's really it. That's how quick it is to, to go through this stuff with you. Um, <clears throat> I hope it's helpful in some way. I hope the guys who've been asking me for this video find it helpful. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, but that's it. So the main things I to remember are main power to your motherboard is through the 24 pin, um, the 24 pin socket, which is there and it's keyed. And then power for your CPU comes through a separate socket, which is four pin or eight pin. So a lot of times when you boot up for the first time and it just won't boot, I would check the four pin or the eight pin connection. It's probably just not pushed in far enough. Um, and that's it guys. There's not much else to say. Like I said, if you find this video helpful, if you would like more stuff like this, please drop a comment. Um, you know, I read the comments as much as I can. Um, but that's it. I've got, no more else to add to this without building a PC. So guys, I'll see you later and don't forget to have a good one. Bye.